In this training module, we will introduce the building web server in Aiden 6200 series. Here is the outline of this training module. First, we will introduce the building web server of Aiden 6200 series. Later on, we will introduce what rest for and how to use our sample code for assessing the data on Aiden. Here are the objectives you are expect to understand in this training module. First, let's introduce the web server feature of Aiden. Aiden Ethernet I.O. modules all feature a building web server that can be accessed by using a standard web browser. A building web server means the remote computers or devices can monitor and control the I.O. status on Aiden Ethernet I.O. modules remotely through a web browser. The web browser is based on HTML5 and it can simplify the web application. User can simply type the IP address to connect to your Aiden 6000 module in the web browser. Second, it's cross-platform. So you can also use an iPhone, iPad, or Smart TV. Third, there is a default building web page on Aiden 6000 modules. User can modify the web page by using HTML5. In the previous 6000 module, which is BE version, we need to install Java runtime for using the web server function. However, user may encounter the problem of fail to open the web page if the Java runtime version installed is after version 1.8. To prevent this inconvenience user experience, the new Aiden 6000 module, which in other words CE or D version, support the HTML5 web server. So user no need to install Java runtime anymore. This slide shows how the Aiden web server works. As you can see, Aiden is the web server and we already have an HTML5 inside this module. So when user type the IP address of the Aiden module on the browser, then Aiden will require you this HTML file. That's why you will see this web page on your web browser. For accessing the web browser of Aiden 6000 B version, the Java runtime environment is needed. However, due to security policy, the Java applet, which is the socket-based application, cannot pass through the Java runtime environment version newer than Java 8. So users have to make sure the PC is under Java 7 for using the web server of Aiden 6000 BU module. By entering the IP of Aiden module, user can see the web page through the browser. User can also use the QR code to view the data log track of the web page. Besides, the HTML file can be downloaded from Advantex for photo. User can also do modification on this HTML file and download into Aiden module. Now let's see what's RESTful. The word REST represents for representational state transfer. It's a design style of software architecture for web application behaves and service. REST is widely used in nowadays IoT application. There are three elements in REST, which are noun, verb, and content. Simply put, you enter a website IP, that's noun, and define which operation you are going to do, and that's verb. Then web server, which is Ada, will reply you with XML or JSON content. This slide shows the example of sending HTTP requests in JavaScript. You can see the script is in red style. It's XML format. There is another tool for us to send REST command to Aiden module. The Chrome browser provides a REST client add-on tool and is easy to use. For example, 
if user want to use the post function on item 6051, we need to choose the method first and then type the URL. Then a response sending from item can be get in the body column. User can see the LED status of DO channel 0 also change in utility after sending a REST command. Here is the simple hands-on you can track with your module. Last, we are going to introduce the Aiden Apex Dynamic Class Library, which is the sample code of our Aiden module. If users don't want to use utility to control Aiden module, we provide the class library for users to develop your own application program. The Aiden Apex Dynamic Class Library includes all the necessary functions to utilize Aiden 6000 modules. As you can see, almost all of the modules have sample code. We also provide some function sample code for user to modify. Before installing Aiden Apex Dynamic Class Library, ensure that the Dynamic Framework 2.0 is supported by user's computer. Here is the link for you to download the class library. And the path for simple code is under the below path. User have to install Microsoft Visual Studio Dynamic 2008 for using our simple code. Now let's see the simple code for Ethernet module. Here we use Ethernet 6250 simple code for example. Let's see how to use simple code to pull in Aiden and get IO value. First, go to the below path for opening the simple code. Second, in the Visual Studio IDE page, follow the steps here. And next, here we need to set the several parameters to control Aiden. There are modules IP and modules name you have to set. After setting all parameters, user can run the project and see the value on Windows Phone. The channel status from sample code should match with either utility. Let's move on to sample code for serial module. Here we use Aiden 4018 plus sample code for example. Let's see how to see sample code to pull in Aiden and get IO value. First, Go to below path for opening the sample code for this module. In Visual Studio IDE page, double click Form 1 file on the right column. A window form will pop up. And then right click this part of window form to open the source code. Here we need to set the several parameters to control Aiden. There are control number, device ID, and also the module name and set the power rate. Also the serial data length. After setting all parameters, user can run the project and see the value on Windows Phone. And you will find that the status from this sample code will match with the Aiden utility. That's all for module 7. Thank you.